In the films that I studied, I noticed a pattern that in the films of 1950s and 1960s, no hero in the film was ever a businessman. The heroes tend to be pundits, joshis, uh, jailers, even poets, philosophers, tour guides, okay? But they were never businessmen. In fact, any character that was a businessman was uh, almost inevitably the villain in that movie. So I think in the 50s and the 60s, there was a very strong suspicion of uh, businessmen. And in fact, the whole activity of commerce, of profit making, was looked down upon as an antisocial activity. I think the underlying belief was that trade or commerce is a zero sum game. Okay, if one person benefits, then it must necessarily come at the cost of the other person. And I think that changed over time. In the 80s and the 90s, what I began to notice is that a lot of films had heroes who were shown to be businessmen. And that was, that was a dramatic shift, I thought, that revealed something about what was going on in the Indian society. Some change in ideology or cultural beliefs. And I think that change was that people no longer considered business to be dirty or in an antisocial activity. And it is something that is worthy of a hero to engage in. So I don't think the films had a particular tryst with any particular ideology, but I do think that films reflected the change in ideology that I talk about. People were more open to the idea that commerce can benefit society uh, as a whole rather than benefiting just particular individuals. So I think this was a huge cultural change that took place in India. A second cultural change that took place in India is that uh, earlier, the needs of the nation state, as the national leaders defined it, were considered above the individual needs of people. So if people wanted to earn money through business, if people wanted to consume imported goods, those needs were suppressed for the benefit of uh, national economic development planning. And uh, people were able to endure that suppression of their desires uh, for the greater good. In the 1980s and the 1990s, I think that changed people became more rebellious. Uh, individual pursuit of happiness was considered to be more legitimate uh, than it was previously.